What's up everyone, Steven here from TechMaker Studio. This is building a decentralized Twitter clone with React.js and ALF.im part 10. So this is gonna be a quick video, but I logged in uh, to kind of work on the design updates uh, that I've been talking about. And I noticed that somebody's obviously doing some testing and there's some blank messages coming through, which made me realize there's a good opportunity here to knock out a quick little episode on how to filter out unwanted data so and you can see what i'm saying here right in front of us basically there's no information here posted and then down here you can see we have some actual messages coming through so let's go back to the code and initially what i had thought was that we should actually try to filter that out when we call load posts so like you know here we could do like const post equals response dot post dot filter and then so on and so forth um, but what i realized is that was going to force us to actually parse the json content check if there's anything in there and then um, go ahead and remove it from the list and then we were going to have to come into our post itself and then parse the same content again which made me realize what we should do is just do it here inside of post.js. So here's what I'm saying. So first thing I'm going to do is put a div in here, which is going to freak out our syntax highlighting. We're going to move that div up inside, tab it in. And we're already pulling out uh, content here. So we have content is item content, content.body. So I'm just gonna add a quick ternary operator here and I'm gonna say content does not equal blank and content does not equal undefined like this. And if we put a question mark here, I'm just gonna kind of line all this up. Now it's expecting us to do something. So we could do you know one thing if it's true and then otherwise we could just do nothing. So that's not breaking in terms of the syntax. If we save that, we should see some ASDFs over here. Um, if I refresh, potentially. Did I break something or is it just not loading? Oh, there it goes. So you see we have ASDF above everything that does have text content and then we have nothing above the ones that don't. Okay, simple enough. Now let's basically just tab in our original content and paste that. Let me fix the alignment there. So if we save that and come back over here and do a good refresh, our data should reload. And I totally screwed that up. Let's move that up. Let me actually undo this or just cut this entirely so let's take this paste it here and then here we'll put an empty string sorry my mistake all right so now you can see we don't have our empty data anymore if we refresh it should just show up cool so i want to refactor this a little bit from here so um, i wrote an article on web3 which i'll link to in the description and one of the things I kind of talked about was when you have these sort of open networks, the responsibility to actually filter content gets pushed to the user interface because we can't prevent anybody from coming in and posting whatever they want to the ALF network. So anybody can post anything and there's nothing we can do about it because it's decentralized. Um, so what that means is if we don't want certain things to show up, we have to handle that somehow, some way, which is obviously complicated. Um, but just to kind of nod in that direction a little bit, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put a method in here called should display, and we'll take in content, and what we're gonna do is basically just say return this for now, and. I don't know if we, since this is actually a state variable, we might be able to get away with not putting that in there. Um, should display, but anyway, I'm just gonna do this, should display content. And if so, we're gonna show the content, otherwise empty string. 
And this at least gives us kind of a placeholder for like if we wanted to add more complicated filtering. And the way this is going to end up being designed is for you to fork the code base and then make your own modifications. So this would be a place to actually, you know, come up with your own standards if you have your version of the network or whatever. So let's save that. Let's go make sure that it's still working over here. And uh, there we go. So now we have filtered data from the network. So this was a quick episode. Um, but I think that that's useful. In the next episode, we are going to continue on with updating the design, and then we'll move into data modeling pretty soon after that. So I'll talk to you in the next episode.